great. Hey, Chris Day here. Um, this piece of art is pretty awesome. It's called Picasso. And if you can't see it that well, you'll know why when you can see it better. Um, I use the same box that I use for a lot of my pieces of art, like I did for the, the Borg over here to my left. And, and uh, this right here is a little clothes Hat egg. Thing. Yeah, whatever. You can hang whatever on it. It's one of those collapsible, boing, 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 boing. These came off a closed tree, so I just wanted it to look like a, like a guitar or neck. This is a shelf with a little heart in it. This is the heart bookshelf right here. And the shelf is at, right here on the bottom. That's the bottom. This is the, mm -hmm. and the, got some little boingy things on it. This is a, a piece of a wooden checker. So this has a lot of pieces of my, the, uh, two different closed trees. These curvy ones were on the same closed tree, these right here. But then this, this one, it's got a little, or just a little um, different shape. So anyway. Also the black ones from a different one. Yeah, no, well this and this one up here are from different ones and the other four are the, the same closed tree, I think. Um, I made some pieces, I made some art that looks like violin. That's so awesome, oh my word. Um, it, it looks like a violin and this is half of it and then the other half is a, a mandolin. So I just cut this one in half, got this from DI. This is how it was. Uh, cut it in half, use half of it on here, and then this is, dun, dun, guess dun. what? <laughs> so another guitar hero. So if you can tell, I'd like you just to be able to see it, you know, without me telling you. But if I cut it in half, I mean, if you look down this midline, can you tell the difference? Like, the part on the left is all black and natural wood. And the part on the right is not. It's all colorful. Yeah. And it's, at a time in my life, I needed more color. So all of my pieces, all of my art was just natural wood, because I loved natural wood. And I thought, okay, I'm going to stretch, and I'm going to paint something. <laughs> this goes right here, but today it's, uh, you can zoom in on this eye, but that's, um, It's whatever you want it to be. So I'm just gonna set this down here. So it actually has like body parts. Can you tell? It has body parts like, can you tell what this is supposed to represent? I love it, the mustache is so cute. Yes, and this part, two eyeballs. This was the fender of a car. Just some kit to put a car together, to put it, to make a car. And also, this was this was also the fender. So this is one type of fender, and this were the other types of fenders. Um, just, that was just a round piece of wood, a coaster. I don't remember where this came from either. Oh, wait, wait a second. No, it might have been a. Like a uh, scale. It might have been a scale, where you you hook something here and you. I don't. I don't know. Actually, um, this. I don't know what that was. 
part of something, part of some kitchen gadget probably. Another bowl, another wooden bowl. Um, these were Chinese checkers. I need anything to fill up the holes. Uh, just a half circle. I think this was a nickel. I think this was a wooden nickel and I made it look like an eye, which I don't usually, but. And then the iris was a bead. This is a handle, just a wooden handle. And this and this were part of the same circle, like a frame, wooden little wooden frame for like that you might make something to hang on to a Christmas tree or something. But if you look, see if you look at it straight on, then you can see maybe an eye or something with a eyebrow. This is just a piece of wood I don't, I don't remember. It had a hole in it. Um, I don't know what it was. And then a couple blocks. Oh, these are the arches I couldn't find in my blocks. I thought, I know I had more arches in there, but I must them. have used them. <laughs> A checker and I don't know these and these are all something some kind of game I don't, I don't know what they were little frame right here and then I just oh here's the other fender I knew it was here this is the other fender but I didn't paint it green so it's the same same shape as that one Oh, and look, I had this on the, I had this on another piece. Just today? Yeah, just today. I think they were salt and pepper shakers. I think. And then you put, I think this little hole was where you poured the salt in, the salt or the pepper. And then there was a, a little plastic lid that you just snapped on there. And this, this is one of those bread hooks that, you know, I've ne I never used them. They, mm -hmm. or, but this is what is really cool. Oh, this is a bathroom, another one of those toilet paper roll holders. So this is that foot I was telling you about. This is the foot my dad, he probably, he probably carved this when I was 14 years old. It's like, how old am I? Anyway, a long time ago, 45 years ago or more, he carved this foot. And so now it's, it's got a foot. And when this is sitting on the wall, this is kind of wobbles and it's, and it's fun. Didn't he do a great job? Mm -hmm. That's awesome. He just made it out of a block. He could do anything. He just didn't do and he just didn't do very much of it. He, he did just a little finish. bit of everything and it was like I'm just gonna try everything and then when I get to the real thing, you know, then maybe I'll complete something. So I was drawn to this one because I'm definitely a fan of Picasso and also my family was really into music at the time and there's a bunch of us taking guitar lessons and I just thought it was a really cool piece. And I wanted to make a music room. That didn't happen, but it's still a cool piece just to have on display, even though it's not in a music with, room. With all the rest of your art. Yeah, yes. yeah. And I love to have other people's art in my home. Um, I don't know, I just think it gives it such a cool, funky vibe. And so these really added to the ambiance. That's all. So, ciao.